Hey, how's it going guys? M8 here and today we're gonna talk about HTC Vive and the gray screen of death. I apologize for the mess, I took down my green screen so I could play my HTC Vive. I have gotten it on Tuesday and for the past three days I've been troubleshooting it and I only got to play for about mm, two to four hours. So I have today I have spent about two hours with the Asus, about two hours with the HTC Vive support and engineers and over the three days I've spent about eight hours of my personal time working with uh, some of the uh, friends and streamers and some of the friends from my IT department to help me out with some of the problems. So I am glad Lake can tell you that we have fixed and or figured out what the problems are for the gray screen. So first of all, make sure you guys follow the instructions, make sure you install everything correctly. Uh, according to the uh, HTC Vive support specialists and engineers, they actually uh, prefer you to plug it into USB 2.0 instead of a 3.0. Okay, so that's one of the things. Two, if you're having a gray screen, make sure that you guys are actually set up your bases perfectly. Okay, they need to see each other and I show you what I'm talking about. So if we go over here, I'm just going to turn this on real quick. Uh, we go into our settings and we go into developer and we go to room overview. You guys can see here that this camera shoots a little tiny projectile and the other camera shoots the projectile like basically right back at it. So I believe that's like the center point of it and those center points need to be basically right on top of each other. I have the other one slightly off, I'll get it adjusted. But uh, here's one of the problems actually. My, uh, my mouse is going out. So uh, it's not going out, but I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. So the second problem is USB drivers for your motherboard. Yes, that is correct. If you're having the gray screen problems, that could be one of the problems for you. So right now it is working perfectly. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Display the mirror so we can see everything. Hey, this is real. Hello. But here's how you can test it. This is how I knew this was not the sensors. I can cover this up so it doesn't see the headset. And when I uncover it, the sensors can see it again and it tracks it all over again, right? So that is how you know that it could be the problem with your tracking. If you are doing this or you're standing right in front of the sensor waving your arms around, hello, I am here, please recognize me. That could be very much the USB drivers on your motherboard. Go onto their support website, download the latest USB drivers. If they do not, or if you download it and you're still having a problem, be like me. Contact the ACES about your motherboard and tell them, hey, this is the problem I have. Is this the latest drivers? In my case, they were not the latest drivers. The ones that I had were still in the beta but they were already finished and repatched and the newest USB drivers were still not uploaded onto their website and they have taken care of it. So this really expensive 2980 Ti machine just turned into useless junk as far as playing VR games all of a sudden. All because of the USB drivers. So I am a streamer if, most, uh, if some of you guys may not know and I decided hey I finally got it sorted out my gray screen is no longer acting up whenever the heck it wants to uh, this is great I can stream so I ran into a third problem that could be causing the gray screen and if you are a streamer or even if you're not this could be your problem so I have after spending a lot of time trying to figure this out we have narrowed it down that when you plug in your link box installs a bunch of drivers onto your computer and uh, <clears throat> it would be under unknown devices into other inside the other devices. That is your basically link box. All right, and we also have the Bluetooth USB device here, and it's also having some problems, but it, it's not. You know, I talked to the engineers and say it's just something goofy. It's not recognizing it. Anyway, so long story short, what is third cause that's causing the gray screen of death if you're a streamer or if you're not a streamer but you have webcams is webcam drivers are interfering with the HTC Vive camera that is built into the HTC Vive. When you first plug in your USB link box, you will see a little tiny webcam icon. It installs the drivers for that camera. And what I, we have found out is actually the USB drivers are interfering with that. And that could cause your uh, HTC Vive to disconnect, lose tracking, 
and this will start blinking maybe one or both of your controllers will just randomly disappear and you cannot recalibrate them or you turn them back off turn them back on you just have to restart the whole steam vr sometimes in the worst case scenario even both of the base stations even though they still turned on and they set on the same channel and they see each other both of these would just disconnect and would not reconnect until you restart it so one of the things you guys can do is room overview make sure this is correct make sure your usb 3.0 drivers are installed if you're still having problems it could be because of the web cameras the way you can fix it is if you're streaming just disconnect all of the usb cameras if you are not streaming still disconnect all of the usb cameras that's right and I have tried everything. I've tried combinations of uh, running this administrator, not administrator on OBS and uh, on Steam and things like that. Uh, I have tried just uh, running the link box only on the motherboard and running the web cameras on the different uh, USB hub, which is on top of your computer, the two di different systems. But the drivers themselves, they still overlapped and could cause the problems. So if you guys have that problem, it very much could be the USB uh, drivers for your web camera and HTC Vive camera. Uh, I have contacted HTC Vive about this issue. Uh, I think I'm like the second person that they have heard about. So I don't know if it's the motherboard or if it's the, the drivers or the amount of cameras we have. Something that's going on. And they said they're going to pass it on to the engineers. They're going to work on it. They're going to try to take care of it. So I'm here strictly to help you guys understand what could and what is causing the gray screen and how to fix it or how to work around it so hopefully this helped you guys out a lot uh, if you guys have any comments or if you have any questions you can hit me up on twitter official and mate you can just leave me a comment on my uh, youtube video down here and i'll gladly answer it for you guys um and um yeah check out the stream official and mate if you guys are interested we're all gamers and i hope i giving you guys uh, some good knowledge or hopefully fix the problem so with that being said thank you all for hanging out i appreciate your feedback please give it a like drop a comment leave a sub and i'll catch you guys all later